Hey y'all, it's me, Ren, back again for another adventure. Oh gosh, we're so close. Look at this, it looks like we've only got one spirit left to find, right? We've uh, looked at all of these. I see Jackie in there, that asshole. Uh, but yeah, looks like we're getting there. We're gonna be uh, creeping ever closer to the end of the game. Let's try to see what we're doing here. We got any shenanigans going on? Uh, we're recruiting people. Oh, we're looking for the form man. Uh, and then Hoseki Quarry. Where are we at right now? Where are we? Who are we? Why are we here? Okay, well, so far, we're looking pretty good. Where's Hoseki Quarry? Is this it? It is. Is there a closer way to get there? You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and set sail. And while we're doing that, let me review. My sheep stack is all upgraded. Are y'all hungry? You're not. That's pretty good. What about you, baby? You hungry? No? All right. So I think our sheep are good. I don't have the cow, fa the fancy cow business, right? Do I have that? Oh, I do, but it takes XP potion. Okay. So. Buck. So hungry. You're so hungry, buddy. Aren't you? Okay. Yeah, I know you are, bud. Oh, you're not even that hungry. My gosh. So he's lactose intolerant, and he also acts like fruit is sacred. Humble thanks. Okay. Yep. Listen, bud. Uh, give me a hug. Yeah, I do like you. All right. Oh. Okay. And what are we talking about? Commander, I... Oh, never mind. I have some snacks. Stella, do you want some? Oh, damn, you just gave me back all the... That's... I gave you those snacks to share with your friends. Why did you give them back to me? Um, I feel like we have what we need for that. For the, uh, foundry. Let me take a gander here. Ah, still more XP potion, but I could go ahead and make a steel sheet right now. I steeled the sheet on which I sit, right? <laughs> okay, steel sheet. Where are you at? There you are. You go pretty fast. Doesn't take doesn't take a long time to uh Hey! Yeah. 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 Yeah! Oh, too much. Too much. I did that too much. There we go. Alright. Look at our lovely steel sheet. We're so excited about it. And what was the other thing? Silk. Let's go make some silk fabric here. Uh, there we go. Oh yeah, I gotta re reset my brain for what this one feels like. Get a little get good at it, right? Look at all these. Look at all these perfects I'm getting. I mean, I think that was 50% success rate. Could be wrong. Could just be making shit up, you know what I mean? Okay, so we're here. We're queer. Get used to it. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I'm gonna leave the boat because I didn't mean to ring that for y'all. Sorry, didn't mean to wake you up in the middle of the night. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, ding. Oh, there's mushrooms here. Hello. What else have we got up here? We're looking... What are we looking for here? We're looking for... Is this where the chef is? I think this is where the chef is. Yeah, because Form Man is at South Point. Or whatever. Whatever that is. 
All right, so let's go ahead and go in here. There's still a chest that we haven't found, and I'm trying to find somebody. I wonder who, though. And we found a new trick uh, where if we follow, we follow the electrical lines, we find places. What is this? This is coal. Okay, we're not going up there, although that would be cool. Uh, let's go over here. Which one is this? This looks like... Nope, can't go up there. Okay. I remember where these are. Can't go that way. Are you a cook? Hmm, nope, you're not the one I'm looking for. Okay. You're not the one I'm looking for. I'm looking for a chef. Do you know a chef? Do you know where Chef lives? Are you a chef? This day's gonna be a long one. Yeah, no shit, because nobody... I can't find who I'm looking for. I still haven't found who I'm looking for. Crunch, crunch. Crunch. Oh, no, I didn't do it as cool. Okay, yeah, I know how to do it. I know how to do it. Don't... Don't try to shade me or whatever. Whatever the kids these days... Nobody says that. Nobody's ever said that. Don't try to shade me, man. This is some iron, I think. What is this? What is this person? There's some concrete people outside. What are they doing? The problem with screaming in the upstairs is that I can see out my window. And I get real concerned about what other people are doing in my neighborhood. And right now, looks like somebody's getting concrete done. And heck if, heck if I don't think that makes it my business. You know what I mean? All right. So, if we come up here, this is its own little thing. And we're coming over here. Yes, yes, I know, I know, I know. And there's this one up here, but it still doesn't get us where we think I need to go. Okay, oh, I'm the best at these games. Okay, so now we're going up here, and we're around here. I'm gonna do a hop, hop, hop. There we go. I have been here before. Oh, there's a secret place. Look at all this business. <gasps> Three diamonds, I can do the upgrade now. This is all I ever wanted. Uh, but now I gotta find the cook, the cook. Where's the cook? All right. Hooray for belt popping or whatever it is that I've decided to call these things. Was this a place? No, it wasn't. Whew. I just had dried fruit for lunch again, so I'm very sugary. All right. Where are we going? This time we're going up here. All right. Go over here. Crack this rock. I think I really like me in this outfit. It's really good. Oh! I've been working at this mine since before I was born. My mom worked here. My dad worked here. My granddad. Well, you get it. I don't know if I would ever leave. Uh -huh. To work at the Overbrook Hospital? In the kitchen. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I see. Mm-hmm. 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 Cooking is like hitting rocks. Um, sure. Are you sure? Those two things sound very different. Nope, they definitely are. You do make a compelling argument. You sure have a way with words. And that voice, I, I'm sold on the idea. And I'm sure all the other workers will be too. Trouble is, we can't just up and leave. We need people to cover our posts. Wait, wait, I've got it. Wait, no, I just lost it. Wait, no, wait, I got it. What if instead of people, we use dubbies? We just need to dress up scarecrows filled with hay and stuff in our work clothes. They'll look like regular employees, but they won't move. 
I'm sure the Raccoon Incorporated Mining Company won't notice the difference. Plus, as an added benefit, dummies don't need to eat. Fewer lunch breaks, more productivity. It's a win-win situation. They won't talk back either. They'll be the perfect employees. We just need to find some material to stuff into those dummies, so uh, you should go out and get everything. Some wood, some linen, and a couple of carrots. Yeah, that could work. Oh yeah, this is totally a great plan. I can't wait to start hitting food and make real culinary art. Come back when you have all the materials. So, uh, good job. You've got it all. Oh, I guess I do. Hey, that's always nice when you roll up to the mission with uh, everything you need already. Well, I'll get everyone together and we'll make the dubbies. We'll make them look real. Raccoon Incorporated Mining Company won't be able to tell the difference. But they realize that all the mining operations have stopped, it'll be too late. We'll be free and ready to make some nice cannoli. Thanks for this exciting new career opportunity. See you at the kitchen at Overbrook. Cool. I mean, I'm definitely cool with that. I've... I've become decidedly less enamored of the raccoons the more I find out about their business practices. You know what I mean? They just seem pretty shady. Uh, they've driven a lot of the uh, other other folks out of the market. Those guys are doing their own thing. Uh, I guess while I'm here, I'll grab this iron. Yeah, oops. Oh, I, I beefed it. Okay. Now I can do this. I got this. Oh. Ooh, they're honking. They're mad about it. People outside are mad about it. Toot toot. Get your concrete truck out of my way. I don't have manners. Oh, and there's people in the street. Bada bee da da. Uh, where else are we going? What do you guys have to say? Which side are you on, boys? Which side are you on? I don't know. Not, not anybody's side. Uh... Oh, that's right. This is where there's secret books. No, but seriously, who's doing concrete stuff? Is it my, like, straight-up neighbor neighbor? It can't be right. Who are they? What are they doing? I'm so... sussy baka about these people in my neighborhood here. They're fine. I found you. Hello. I already talked to you before, so I'm not going to worry about it. I think I've got everything I need now. I found that one last, uh... <sighs> chests? I mean, are they chests? They seem like little light posts, almost. More so than a chest. What about up here? Is this anything special? Sure looks like... It's supposed to be somewhere else. watch out! Still making more iron. Okay, we can't get up here. I'm not going to worry about this stuff anymore. I will pick these mushrooms because Buck loves them. Ugh, run, run, run. Okay, we're just trying to get down here. We're going back out. It would be cool if there was like a... Exit. Get out of here button where you're like, yeah, I'm deep in the mines, but I don't want to be anymore. Okay, so I got the chefs, so now we can head back, and then we'll check our list of shenanigans. Just South Point Docks now. Okay, so first what we're going to do... God, Ashima, I wonder... I wonder if I should be... Paying more attention to the lighthouses. I didn't try making music at the last lighthouse that I had with the wispy purple things. Because sometimes I forget I can make music. I don't know if that's what was required or not, though. Alright, so we've got a little bit of a ways to go. We've got the silk stuff. We've got our... Another thing there I'm going to fill up. Fill up my birds. Uh, I guess I should go in and get some eggs. How many eggs do we have? Yeah. Y'all, ladies, you've been busy lately. I'm sorry. Ingredients. Commander, I have some magic ingredients for you. Toadstools from the Shadow Forest. Can I offer them to you? Of course, bud. I love it. 
I love it. Ah, uh, there's no reason for me to be growing cotton. There's just no reason at all. But, ooh, I got all these mystery things. Ooh, so I should probably stop at Sharky's Machine. Uh, Albert's. Albert's Shipyard. Um, because I should be able to do the the one upgrade now. Because I have multiple diamonds. And, and I have potential hiccups coming in here, and that's always fun. All right. Uh, choo, choo, choo. Uh, that's at South Point Docks. XP potions. I definitely don't have any of those yet. Okay. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to take the bus. Ratata, ratata. Where's South Point? There it is. So, what's the closest thing to South Point? Do we want to go this route or what do we think? This route? No. I think this one might be the closest. I'm gonna go to this one though. All right. Yaha! Yaha! I'm a Mario brother. Well, that was some kind of tinky tinky noise. I don't know what that was. Doesn't matter. Ra, ra -ta -ta. How do I make XP potion? Buck, I feel like you're the key. I feel like you're the key to our potions. Uh, let's see. Do we have anything that can ferment? Anything special? I'll ferment the herring. Uh, oh, no. Uh, just all herring can be fermented from now on. And... Are you hungry? You're a little bit hungry. Let's give you some blueberries. Hi, baby. Uh, oh, yeah, you like that? I'm gonna milk you, too, so you can have a nap here. Just, uh, ease up on that feeling there so you can finally relax. And if I were me, does it look like there's a recipe? Like, as I'm looking at these, do any of them look... Yeah, none of these look like an XP potion to me. Some of it looks like... K-pop or something. Alright, not K-pop. Who are you? We can't mix anything with wood. And that'll just get us cold. Okay. Are we here? Or are we just... Yeah. Somebody wants us to dance with the lightning. That's not going to happen, okay? I'm just not interested in that. So let's move on. Uncle Adel, I love you. We're not doing your shit when you're not here. You can't guilt me into it if I can't see your face. So if I were a cook and I worked with food, okay, what if I had a lettuce and I've got this lettuce and I could mix it with mushroom and that would give me a particular kind of salad. What if we have it like a fish salad? No, I don't think that will be good. We can have veggie... What if it's veggie and olive oil? Is that like a nice little salad with dressing, maybe? I'm not sure. I feel like I've grown all the plants, but there's still a lot of, of baking that I have to do. Uh, we'll do a little bit more tomatoes there as well. And a little bit of rice. There we go. <clears throat> Do, 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 do. We're here, and we are picking up the form of man. He likes to enunciate it as such. He's very good at forms. I think that will do well at the Overbrook Hospital. Ah, uh, there he is. I see him right there. Hello. Ah, 
I'm a bit busy right now, miss. One of my guys got his hands cut off yesterday. Yeah, I know. There's quite a bit of paperwork. If Mike wants his hospital bills paid, he needs to sign this thing from the corporate office. It's pretty boilerplate legal stuff, saying Mike won't sue if they pay his medical bills. Anyway, the doctors are reattaching his hands right now, so he'll be able to sign it soon enough. I know. Apparently doctors can do that. What was the name of his doctor again? Hmm, I don't remember his name, but I know where he lives. Why? Because well, he kept saying it over and over. He was very proud of his penthouse in Old Central District. He was weird. I was in the operating room as a representative of the company. The doctor kept talking about his hot tub and his million dollar watch. It reminded us that he was the best doctor in the whole wide world. All of that while reattaching Mike's two hands. It was pretty wild. I was just thinking, can you stop talking and concentrate on reattaching my buddy's hands? Anyway, Mike's gonna be okay. He'll be back at work soon. The company only offers five, six days, five sick days a year, and he already took a couple to take care of his daughter. Hands or no hands, Mike will be in tomorrow. And I guess his doctor will be in a penthouse in Old Central District. What an odd world. Okay. Who are you? Are you, are you the, f Mike got his hands cut off next to, it was gross. There was this red stuff everywhere. Ugh, so intense. Apparently the doctors were able to reattach them. Isn't that wild? Science is so rad. You could do anything these days. How was I not up here before? I'm taking this, it's mine now. How have I not gotten so strange? Maybe it was like covered up before. Watch you. Watch you. I missed. I missed again. Okay. Whoops, I didn't mean to go that way. <laughs> Everybody's talking about Mike's hands. Um, I guess I gotta go to that penthouse and check in on him. Hi kids. Hey buds. Hey everybody. Ooh, I am gonna stop and pick up this gold though. I like how I stand up on my like tippy toes before I'm before I'm doing the big shop. Shop shop. No, that's not the same. Oops, where's my boat? Hey, there's my cat. Hey kitty. Alright, let's get back to our boat. <laughs> And let's see, shenanigans. Yep, we gotta recruit a doctor. Oh. I thought I was looking for a foreman. Furtagata, Furtagawa, Everport, Overbrook. Okay, so we're still on shenanigans. We can't do this until we get the potion. So now we gotta go to the old, old something something. Old Central District. There we go. That's very close. Looks like I've got some watering to do on the way. Drinky, drinky. Come on, my little crops. My little strange plants of indeterminate reality. I mean, because honestly, if I planted something and it grew a special ring, that's not real. That's for pretend. How could you think it was real? Well, the good news is lurking on several people's streams does not seem to impact my own bandwidth. So that's a nice thing. All right, we got you going. I'll pick up this rice flour eventually. Uh, what are we looking at over here? What? Oh my goodness. Oh goodness me. There's another big truck that's going by and it almost couldn't fit. People are doing things in my neighborhood. How dare they? How dare they do things in my neighborhood? Okay. <laughs> Being by a window is very distracting. People are doing stuff. What are they, what are they doing? Okay, I gotta go up in a penthouse. I have a feeling that this guy's gonna be a little bit douchey from what he was describing. I could be wrong. Hey, do you know Mike? Oh, another set. Oh, right. That's the actress that I was talking to. Um, where's the penthouse? Penthouse. 
Are you in the penthouse? Does that count? Where? Do, how do I get in here? Where's the door? Give me the door. I'll go in from the inside. I'm an inside man. Hi, is this... Are you in a penthouse? Good. Okay, I guess not. Hup, hup. Hup, hup. Oh, this looks a little penthousey. Let me out here. Uh... And we're gonna go up here. Are you a penthouse? Ooh, stop right there! Wait, what? You're looking for a doctor. Well, look no further. You found him. You found me. I'm a world-renowned hand surgeon. I've been on talk shows. I've been recognized in malls. I own a 600-gallon hot tub. Always tropical and ready for when the doctor comes home. After a hard day of doing what surgeons do, I need to relax my hands in warm, bubbling water. That is the life of this prestigious doctor. Prestigious? Prestigious. I'm known for my impeccable surgery skills and for being punctual. I'm always on time because of this watch. It costs so much money, I don't want to say. But I bet I do want to say. It's encrusted with rare diamonds. It's a triple retrograde turbulent. Tur turbulent? Oh my goodness, why did they go around again and come through again? The big truck is trying to squeeze through. It's the second time they're coming through. So they're working on Lisa's. Okay. But it's part of, just remember she's having that garage put in. Oh yeah. Oh, oh ho ho ho. I've been exclaiming about them because they're in my neighborhood doing things that are weird. <laughs> <laughs> well, like, like I had to look. And I'm like, what the? F what is out there? It's scooching. They're building. They're building. They're scooching on their butts yeah. like dogs with worms. Ginsburg, come like, here. <laughs> I was like all hyping me with dogs with worms. <laughs> I love you, robot. Kinsey, Ginsburg, you look like you're not gonna try to get in there because you're facing oh, away from the door. Exactly like she's gonna try to get in. <laughs> oh, she got in there. Oh. Well, I can see I lost you there. I bought it as a gift for myself after my fourth marriage. Now, back to you. You need a doctor for Overbrook. I thought that place closed down. Yeah, I should have. And it's so far away. Why would I ever work in a place like that? For money? Ah, I'd do it for more money. No one ever says no to more money. I just love buying myself new things. Yo, treat yourself. When I'm not at work, I shower myself with expensive gifts. Such is my nature. I would consider it for, hmm, 10,000 glims up front. No bi-weekly payments. Glims only. A one-time offer. Deal? Well, well, I can hear the money sloshing around in your, your pockets. Fork it over if you still want me to work in that awful Overbrook. All right? Yeah, of course. That's why I'm here. Money means nothing to me. We're all dead, bro. I don't know if you realize that. <laughs> well, just like that, you've got yourself a deal. I'll start prepping my move. I'll tell my job that I'm moving on up to a better gig. Hmm. Overbrook doesn't sound too exciting. I might just lie and say I'm going to a more reputable hospital. Well, see you around. Thanks for the money. The good doctor. <laughs> nice. Nice. It's a Sandman reference already. The good doctor? Or, or, ah, uh, I'm the good doctor. Dr. Good? What was that called? I don't remember. All right, listen, we're going back to my boat now. Where's my boat at? No, but seriously, where did I put my boat? Ah, oh, there it is. Wahoo. Okay, so now we're getting back on our big boat. And what do we got here? Talk to this person and talk to Daria. And then we might drop off Elena, but we also might not because whatever. Okay, we're going to Overbrook. It's gonna cut through those lights. Ooh, I love it when you guys buy in tandem. Oh, look, they're all working together. It's like a little conga line. It's my stack of sheep. 
can I can I zoom out so I can see all my sheep at once and how they've coincided in their movements? Ooh, hey, brown sheep, tan sheep, you're a little bit behind. Brown sheep, you're not doing it right. You guys, we practiced this. What did I make? This was lettuce and oil? Ah, green salad. I did it. What else can we make with lettuce? Some kind of horrible fish. What about lettuce and egg? What is that going to be? I feel like that's going to be a gross thing. Because sometimes you just make shit food. Where's my... Yeah, you're over here. Little asteroid catching... <clears throat> or pulsars. Yeah. I think this one's comets. No, I don't want to start the event. I want to slide down this really long ladder, because that's a lot of fun. Okay, what's my cow doing? Oops, time to water a couple things here. Uh, I feel like Elena's probably starving. Uh, let me go out and give her a little bit of food here. Do I gotta water these? Yeah, I do. No, I'm not gonna stop. Party time? Do 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 Where'd you go, Elena? I'm coming. Elena, where are you going? Where are you going, Elena? I can climb ladders faster than you, Elena. Elena, how how could you teach me if I can already climb ladders faster than you? Uh, you're very hungry. I see how that goes. Um, what's a simple dish? Do you just want a big plate of candy? I bet you do. Um, what's your favorites? You like simple things. You're not that into stimulants. How about some bread? This plain nutriment is enough for me. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to talk to you anymore. Oh, where are we going? Are we there? I think we're there. I think we're at Overbrook. The trucks are beeping outside now. I don't know if you can hear it. I can barely hear it, but I do have headphones on. Uh, and that tends to muffle what I can hear. Still lots of beeping. Ooh. They're right next to us. All right, where are we going? Um, I am gonna talk to... Oh, is this? Nope, it's not restocked. Okay. How far up is this person? Oh, they're pretty far up. Okay, there we go. Here's this one. Thank you so much for helping out. This really means a lot. We might all just be patients here, but that doesn't mean we have to be treated this way. This just goes to show you, sometimes good people just need to step in. People not doing their jobs just boggles the mind. Lives are literally in your hands. It's just so... <clears throat> I'm getting worked up here. Breathe. So, things are already looking up. The kitchen is making some strides in the food department. No one has gotten food poisoning in the past few days, so that's a plus. I saw some fancy pants doctors do, doing rounds. One of them was really obnoxious, but that's better than no doctors. Oh, and you might have noticed that there isn't just random trash littering the halls. Maintenance is keeping the grounds clean. That just about does it. I won't keep you. Thanks again. Don't be shy around these parts. I will be shy around any parts that I want to be shy around. Thank you. But, uh, aside from that, we're fine. Gotta go see my babe, my bad babe. Hey, my dear, Stella. You really are here. I asked for you. I asked the guards. No, the, the guardians? This room felt like a cage. And now I am told that I am free. Free? Uncertain. The freedom might be a trick, I thought. A sinking of the light, a twisted mirror. Uh, no, you are here. Magic. I am, I, ah, uh, thank you for coming. I, I am not as I was when last we met, Stella. You see, I am adrift on an ocean of my own making. And I've come to realize that, that, 
cannot produce the words. I shout them over the endless expanse of water. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the truck is making so much noise right now. It's beeping, it's tooting, it's doing like herk, herk. Where they die down to whispers and insignificant ripples. And, and, I believe that you can still hear them. You are the one who listens, who knows how to listen. You can illuminate the ocean's starless nights. The instrument you have gifted me, and... Uh, you remember my song, don't you? Please go outside and play it. It shall guide me. I believe you will understand. Okay, um, so here's me outside. Here, we're gonna play a little song here. Next to these little post-it notes. Was that good? Is that good? The screen went black. Oh, goodness gracious! When you first climbed up the tower, you saw only a fragile thing deserving of care and empathy. You did not see the steely bonds with which the giant had stilled me, and neither did you see the tumultuous sea underneath, and how it grew angrier and angrier in accordance to the giant's fickle spirits. No, you saw the pain and neglected the wound. Oh, well. Can I like? Oh, oh. All right, so the world wraps. That's cool. Uh, it's trying to tell me which way to get up there. Hi, look at your fancy thing. It is unsurprising, then, that you were unready for the giant's last dying spasms, for his encounter with demons of his own that would break his will. Unsurprising and understandable was your confusion when the invisible but raging sea swept me away, and where, unmoored and weighted as I was, I sunk to the deepest depths. It. Let me up here. Okay. When are you coming back? All right. Good, good. Here I am again. These depths I knew well and had hoped to never visit them again. Is this like depression? Within them roamed all manners of vicious beasts, toothed, fanged, and scaled. Hungry always for suffering and pain, for doubts, memories, and minds. Every single morsel to survive I've thrashed and I flailed, so much so that I managed to shed my bonds along with strands of myself. And the beasts, as expected, promptly devoured them. Promptly devoured them. Ring, 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 ring. What, what? Lightened as I was, I floated back to the surface, far from the beasts. It was there that gentle hands plucked me from a gentler sea. And there, as I was lying surrounded by wispy figures, neither good nor bad, I contemplated an image that had been burned in my empty mind. For through the nests of the beasts, a strange glimmer caught my eye. Remnants and wrecks from past voyages containing treasures of a past long forgotten. The raft of the Medusa, 
Oh, interesting. And we got a radiant spring. What's up, girl? You want some food? What do you like? You like fruit. You love fruit. Fresh, delicate, juicy, delicious fruit. Thank you. Give me a hug. I feel like I won't hang out with you too much longer. Aw. Okay, she's done. Don't hug her for too long. Fuzzy and soft. Delicate. Cool. Alright, I'm gonna go down and talk to this person. What do we got going on, bud? Oop. What? What did you do? Seriously, spit it out. Daria seems to have really responded to you. I've never seen her like that. So vibrant. I don't know what you did, but it did wonders. And another thing. What's going on with Overbrook? I worked here for ages and it never changes. Odd things have been happening ever since you came around. One minute everything is going to shit. The power is constantly going in and out. And we got rats as big as dogs. It's always raining. And then, poof, things are turning around. They're still bad, but less bad. You know, it's like, uh, I still can't swim, but I don't have monster-side rats trying to eat my feet. But you know what I think? I think all these changes, they're related to you and that weird-looking vending machine. I don't make that face. I mean it. Listen, I've never used it personally. I don't believe in money and the concept of spending said money. But whenever you use it, weird stuff happens. More good than weird. Still, it's pretty weird. So I'm thinking you should just go all out and buy all of the stuff from the vending machine. Really, let yourself loose. If it magically brings new life to this place, who am I to stand in the way? Also, it might cheer up Daria and everyone else in this depressing hellhole. I won't keep you. Enjoy your snacks at the vending machine. Fingers crossed for the weird good stuff. Oh, yeah, look at this lovey. Look at this lovely stuff. The whole, the whole feel of it, it's not raining anymore. We got some lovely rainbow stuff going on on this tower. Let's look down here. How are you doing? Now, where's my guy? Uh, this stuff over here is still wrecked. Hey, have I been enjoying my time at Overbrook? Not really. Everyone is so mean to me. They keep calling me names like Trashy or Piles. You know? Names related to picking up trash. You probably already figured that out. I do enjoy picking up other people's trash, but it still hurts. I don't like it when people call me mean names. Very few people like that, I suppose. Uh, this job would be great if they would just stop talking to trash to me. Oh, oh no, I'm the one doing it now. I just want them to treat me with a little bit of respect. Or at the very least, not talk to me. Would you mind telling them to stop? That would make my days a bit better. Well, sure, bud. I'll tell people not to talk to you. I personally like it. The Oslo is very chickadee. <laughs> Don't you just love it when everything is clean? I'm talking clean, clean. Like eating off the floor clean. Something to be proud of. Like you could see reflections, it's so clean. Yeah, yeah. I'm definitely gonna dream of clean floors tonight. Are you guys still looking for a cat? I hope you find her soon, Flo. I hope you find her soon, Lau. Who do I... Who do I talk to about not calling him trash? Hmm? Hmm. Okay, you're still talking about chickeny. What do you do? Hmm. Got a hard time remembering which spices go where. What's the difference between thyme and rosemary? Besides the name, obviously. Do I have to taste them to figure that out? I don't want to taste weird food plants. That's cool, bud. Do you guys... I heard that sometimes doctors forget stuff. Once they found a watch inside a person's knee. What, you don't believe me? I'm telling you, it's true. My best friend's cousin, twice removed, told me, and then he told me. Told him, and then he told me. That's like three people right there. It has to be true. Okay, we're not going to talk to you guys. Uh, let me go take a look at this. Vending machine. Oh, look at all these things. Oh, I need to use a radiant spring to... Oh, where? Do, how do I make radiant springs? Why is that the... I mean, I'll guess I'll buy the health nuts. I got these nuts. Yo. Thank you. What do we got? What what sort of magic did you make happen? Anything? Hmm? You tell me anything here? Yeah. Hi there. What? 
Old Trashy doesn't like being called names? Well, that's news to me. I really thought we had a rapport. I would produce trash, he would pick it up. I would call him a trash-related name. We had this whole bit. I'm a bit shocked, really. I'll try and be better at reading social cues next time. Hmm. I just feel awful now. What should I do? Well, money has always been the answer for me. But just trash... Uh, I mean, well, I don't... I actually don't know his name. I will find that out first thing in the morning. In the meantime, I should do something nice for him. Oh, no, I didn't mute my phone. Ah... Mm, got it. You should go give him something healthy. That always cheers me up. An apple, maybe? I know it sounds expensive, but it's organic and so healthy for you. I eat like 12 a day. That's why I'm so vibrant and fit. I'm sure he'll love it. He always rambles on about eating healthy and producing his own food. Who has time for that? Not me, but you know everyone's got a thing. So here's some money just in case. Go see him with an apple. I'm sure things will be fine after that. Thanks. 5,000 glims for an apple? Gross if. It's a little bit overkill, you know, man? Hey, Trashy, where'd you go? Oh, wow! What? Uh, I don't remember what voice I was doing for you, like, five minutes ago. Yeah, I don't want your dumb rich people apple. If he thinks a fruit bought with dirty money will make things better, he's completely delusional. But look at this scenery. There's a garden here now. Nature completely overtook these ruins. This looks amazing. It's so beautiful and oh, just smell the air. It's so fresh. This is way better than some stupid fruit or whatever. I heard rich people's apples were actually made of recycled apples. Mixed in with like dirty magazines, little rocks, used water, etc. You know, the gross stuff. What I enjoy about rich people is the way they spend their money on dumb things. <laughs> Well, well, I don't know how this overgrown garden popped up. It sure makes my little feud with the doctor pretty inconsequential. He can call me whatever he wants. I don't care. I've got a garden now. I'm clearly better than him. Whoa, look at this splendor. Nature really makes things better, doesn't it? Uh, sure, bruh. I'm not sure that I see the garden you're talking about. Were these bushes here before? Did I make those grow? How do I make Radiant Springs? How do I... Who are you? If you want to be a chef, you gotta have a boatload of cloths. Dry cloths, wet cloths, wiping cloths. And it's gotta hang from your apron so people know you need business. Cooking business. That's what being a chef is all about. Looking great. I don't know about that. You've got a person behind you. Why are you hiding them? If you really think about it, we're all trash. Okay. That's an opinion. What have we got going on? Whoops, that's not it. Um, do we have any shenanigans left? I gotta buy crackers for animals and loose spices. How do I make radiant springs? Yo, oh, whoop, whoop. Hey. You. You're that errand person from earlier, always running around and doing things for others. Listen, you're the one that got me here, which is great and all, but I have an issue. Listen up, whatever your name is. I didn't end up selling my penthouse. The market is quite unstable now. No, no, no. I don't want you to house sit for me. That's not it. My problem is my collection of exotic birds. My birds can't be alone for too long. They get antsy. Plus, some of them have, let's say, special needs. I need you to find some kind of bird babysitter. A bird sitter. Someone who likes wings and beaks, I suppose. Why can't I do it? Well, I'm a rich and busy doctor. I can't leave in the middle of surgery with my hands all bloody. If I leave to feed my birds, who will clean my bloody hands when I'm not at the hospital? Do I need to bring an assistant with me at all times just because my birds need to be fed every day? I don't think so. That assistant has a life of her own. That assistant has things to do, places to go. Why are you making my assistant do all this extra work? You need to think of other people for once in your life. So listen, you need to do two things. First up, you need to buy specialty treats for my precious birds. Cherries are your best bets. It's probably the only good thing in this world. And next, and this is tricky, so listen carefully. You need to find someone who is good with birds or lizards or whatever. Someone to be at my house once a day to care for my army of birds. 
Another doctor was telling me about a service on Edgeboro Lane. Something, something Lizard King? I wasn't really listening. Maybe you can look into it. I need my birds to be babysat and pampered. Is that too much to ask in these modern times? A little. I got hired by an external firm to do some cleaning here. I don't actually work for the hospital, but I only work here. That's a bit strange, isn't it? I don't get benefits or anything like that. If I get hurt on the job, they just fire me. The other day, Marcus slipped on some fluid. Broke his wrist. The hospital didn't even want to treat him. He just went home. I haven't seen him in a while. I just know he's not on the calendar anymore. Well, I better look out for any fluid or something. Gotta be extra safe out there. The conditions here are abysmal. Yeah. What's up, buddy? You gotta help us out. The kitchen's gross. I got nothing to work with. The pans are older than my grandmother. They look like they've been through the Great War. I know I'm not a real cook, but I do have oh. principles. You gotta find a way to help us out. Oh, wow. Oh. Sorry for lashing out. I know it's not your fault. Jeez, it's not oh. even your problem. Listen, do me a favor. We need to get some proper cooking going on. We've been serving what looks like dog food until now. Not the rich, fancy kind. More like the discount bin stuff. We don't have any fresh produce. It's all dried up and non-perishable. Even Raccoon Incorporated Mining Company wasn't that cruel. They knew that feeding your employees was at least good business. A ration a day keeps the scurvy away. However, this is just unacceptable. I've been making some of the worst food I've ever made in my life here. I need your help. I need you to find some fresh ingredients. And a variety of stuff, too. I can't be making bread with old newspapers and toilet water. There's a lot of old newspapers around, the way these people are talking. It just doesn't work. I don't want to make these people sicker than they already are. They need proper meals that'll help them get better. To give them life juice. So, here's a list of things I need. Don't skip all the good stuff now. It would really help me out. I'm making this slop and it doesn't taste like anything. I'll take a breather and I promise I'll be calmer when you come back. Thanks. But, uh, oh, you already got the goods. Now, this is the good stuff. Yeah, we could definitely do something with these. I'll start working on getting french fries on the menu. And in a few days, we should have muesli and fisherman's pie. Oh, I'll even give my try at a hand. <laughs> I'll even try my hand at a nice vegetable stir fry. Patients have been complaining about the food for a while now. Well, at the very least, these new dishes will make them stop. Oh, I can't wait for Gertrude or Gary to taste these meals. No more, your food tastes like what sucks. Or, my granddaughter makes tastier food than this. Well, I better get to it. Thanks again. Heck yeah. Do I, do I have any special springs? Spring, spring, sprung? Don't. How do I make them? How do I make fancy springs? It's got to be something with this stuff, right? What is this? Oh, a bottle of octopus. I have so many. Oh, I have so many of those. Okay, what do you say? Doctors on TV aren't real. Did you know that? I sure didn't. For a while, I just thought that I was doing something wrong. I wasn't getting into complicated love triangles with my coworkers. I wasn't embroiled in a high-stakes murder conspiracy. I was just being a doctor, the way they taught me in school. It was odd. Maybe it's a different kind of doctoring, like over the pond or something. Okay. Look at this beautiful color. This tower is pretty again. Okay, I'm going to go back. Uh, spending spree. I haven't bought any of those. I could go down to Edgeboro. Oh, somewhere near... Oh, let's go play it somewhere near the power station, then. I don't know why that matters. Here's this Yahoo. Hey, come here. Come here. Let me go up there. Hey. Hey, let me go up there. Alright, we gotta ride the elevator up. It takes a while. It's cool. It's cool, yo. Bing, bing, bing. Okay, so... Somewhere near the power generator, huh? Does that not count?
Okay, that doesn't seem to count. Is there an app? <laughs> Let's come back up here. What what counts as the power generator? No, but seriously, what counts as the power generator? How will I know? I mean, I'm guessing I should look for her little post-it notes. So I'm gonna look around here for those. Yeah, there they are. Okay. Yep, just gotta be cool. I could never forget it. The day I started hearing the noise, faintly at first, then louder and louder yet. Flip, plop, distant drops of water that only I could hear. Perhaps I saw it as a sign that I could no longer fit within the warm confines of the family home. And so I left, seeking the source of the noise. Trippy. Oh. Hello. In the beginning of my quest, the land was gentle. I remember the tender grass and the soft wind. I kept following the sound of the droplets, all while paying little attention to the waters rising at my feet. Soon enough, I was wading through a murky and dark flood, surrounded by a thick fog, and yelps and growls and glimmers. Oh, there's just a floating trash bin here. We're going everywhere, every which way but loose, but also loose. Oh, oh, there's some spiky business up there. I gotta be careful. Hup, hup. All right, we're going over here, and then we're gonna go over here. Yeah, hi, baby. From this period, there is not much to remember. A vagrancy that lasted an eternity. No dive can ever restore these memories. They have been wiped clean, picked to the bone. It is as though they never existed. As if falling through, fallen through cracks in time. Still, they were. The mud and scratches bear witness. We got, oh, be careful. All right, we're being careful. Can we come over here? Ah, yeah, we're getting up and around. Okay. The waters are so high now, nothing pierces them. An endless ocean, unbearably calm. The murk has dissipated, and the water is clearer than it has ever been. The clip plopping has stopped. And so, with nowhere to go but down, I dive. I must do so carefully, delicately, lest I disturb the silt that has, throughout the eons, set into a peaceful but fragile blanket. Oh, hey babe. Oh, it's nice to see you out here. You want some, have a cherry. Oh, it's delicious fruit, thank you. I'll give you a hug. Do not touch me, please. Okay. That's cool. No, I won't touch you. Oh, are these better now? Were these broken up before? Do I remember? I don't remember. Were these things trash before? Shoot. 
All right, well, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna go buy some more stuff because she gave me Radiant Springs. And I guess that's what I do is that I just come through and get these. Bag of mixed spices. Loose spices, they're just loose in there. Thank you. <gasps> Mew! All right, so then I think what that should do... Somewhere in the cafeteria. Yeah, that makes sense. Um, Where's our little posties? Where's our posties? There they are. All right. We're doing a special Daria episode today. Wom, 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 wom. All right. This wreck lies hidden among the reefs and the mud. Only a faint glow betrays its presence. It lies on its side, abandoned and forgotten. But as I get closer, the noise hits me. Voices, happy and sad. Playful bangs and clangs. Within the ship live a great many deal, a great many deal of faceless shades. Mother and father, unruly brothers and sisters. A cacophony that is enticing and dreadful at once. That's not it. Uh, we want to do this. Oop. No, come back. Ah, uh, dip it. Crackle, crumb, bum, crumble, bumble. Gotta use the wrap around. Okay, here we are. Here we are. One of the shades escapes me. It is proteform and atonal. Insubstantial. It has a ghastly quality that I cannot easily understand. And it seems to actively resist focus. It takes some convincing for me to accept it for what it is. An echo of a previous self. Remnants undevoured by the depths, unaware of them even. A treasure of incommensurable value. I met it with cautious curiosity. Yups. Okay. And suddenly I am filled with sadness, for I realize or remember one essential truth that perhaps I would rather not remember. The tableau before me exudes a chaotic happiness, a family brought together by conflicts and laughter. I mean... That's a lot of families. Conflict and laughter. Aw, oh, you went away. Come here, you. Come here. Ah, why'd you go away? Why would you do that to me? Alright. Now we got you. We gotta come up here. We gotta wait for those to go away. And then we come up here. Yeah, we do. All right. Okay. Oh, nope. Not that way. Uh, don't fall. Okay. Here we go. Uh, one more. Oh, one more. One more. And then you got to come back for me. Thank you. And then I go over here. There you are. Uh, and then I go up here. Yep, yep. Okay. Okay. 
there we are. If at any point some all-powerful painter were to judge the tableau and remove the ghostly lone shade from it, nothing of the composition would be affected, unnoticed and untouched. The Last Supper. I got this Radiant Spring now. Let's go. Uh, uh. Now I'm gonna buy these crackers for animals. Thank you. Thank you. Oh. Now this is big. This is a big change. Look at how pretty this is. I'm gonna go check out my gardener because I think he'll be happy. Look, we got bushes. This stuff looks pretty nice. Yeah, that tree's all grown. Oh, we got flowers and gardens here. How you doing? I got spud flowers here. That's great. All the trees have bloomed. Things are looking good. Now, where's my guy? Okay. Uh, yeah, we're looking pretty good here. I'm gonna go buy that last thing out of the vending machine. See what that gets me. It seems to be more about miss. Okay, so there's two more items for us. I don't know what we're gonna do with those, but we can play this right here. Little glowy bit on the side there. After an eternity of drifting, this place took me in. You would not have recognized me. Sunburnt, cracked, bursting at the seams. A mind bloated with the muddy thoughts of the self and of the other. Useless detritus brought back from the depths. Dang it! Stop disappearing as I'm jumping at you, please. Okay, so you're going there. I did not... I did not get to you. I missed you there. Okay. Yep. Nope. That's... Seems about right. Uh, oh, nope. There he goes again. Okay. Damn it. Do you, like, disappear as I go towards you? What's up with that? Oh, can't get there. Okay, come on. Be better. Be better, Ren. Damn it. Okay. Think about this. So that one's going away. So now I'm here. And it goes away. And then I need to jump. Yeah, there we go. Okay. And then we're coming around this away. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> you gotta wait for it to come in here. Yep. There we go. Hello. They bound me here with coarse moorings, and when I roared and thrashed and raved, they only tightened the bonds. Brutish methods, but as I came to understand, efficacious ones. You could have just said effective ones. You don't got to get into the five dollar words. For a while, they could not see the raging ocean with its winds and tempests and its waves that I was forced to breathe in, leaving me hurt and sickly. They seemed to understand that I should not be allowed to sink. This was a trip I would not survive. All right, which way are we going? Oh, not that away. Oh, not that away. All right, this away. And this away. Eh. Okay. Oh. When are you gonna come up? There we go. There we go. Hi. Things have changed now. The new caretakers. They are different. Nary a sound. They move graciously. They wear soft gloves and velvety shoes. 
they secretly busy themselves around me, an unseen army of shades and ghostly servants, always making sure that I never go wanting. Yeah, that's medical staff is supposed to make sure you're taken care of. Like, that's the whole thing. Hey, come on, come back. Don't make me wait. I don't want you guys to disappear. Oh, you disappeared. Come back. Okay. And... Oh, not that. No, not that. Nope. Oh, no. Oh, no. Don't ruin it. Okay. Can I get it from this side? Not quite. Uh, get back here. Oh no! Ah, okay. Do not fall. It's a hassle. Alright. So I've got to... Ah! Ugh! Ugh! And then, Stella, there is you. Moorings, but of a different kind. You are the only one who understands the sea. That it is not something to be scared of, but a miracle to be celebrated. A reliquary of strange and alien treasures. Overwhelming in their otherworldly beauty. Only you can explore this strange world with me. An anchor, a buoy, and a lifeline all at once. Thank you, Stella. The Titanic days. Like, actual Titanic? Hey, baby, what's up? Do you want some fruit? I can't enough. Something else, please. Okay, some other kind of fruit. You like blueberries? Yeah. Okay. You still don't want to be... You have a nice house. You feel cared for. Hey, we got more can- Muriel, sticky toffee. Who's Muriel? Oh, this little person. Thank you. Oh, we got a little rainbow here. Is this person going to talk to me? Yeah, I was going to buy that. You stole my precious Muriel sticky toffee. It had my name written on it and everything. Just my luck. Oh, you're Muriel? Half the time they get stuck coming down the machine because they're so sticky. Oh, I've wasted so much time and effort trying to get that delicious toffee, and you just get it on the first try. No fair. Give it back. Please, please, please. Listen, we could trade for it, okay? Yeah. Thank you so much. Muriel's sticky toffee is the only thing that soothes my toothaches. Yo, um... Muriel? Ah, sweet teeth toffee. Um... I'm gonna tell you... Muriel, that I don't think the toffee is good for your teeth. But I am going to buy this... What is this? The cow tail? Stick form. Is it like a caramel? Oh, what's going to happen now? Oh, I've emptied. I've emptied it. It's gone. Show me what other things I've made. They're beautiful. Got little rainbows painted on it. It's great. How much more has changed here? We've got nice little signs. There's people walking around. Everybody's doing stuff. Look how nice it is. It's a beautiful garden. All right, what do we got next? What do we got to do? Bring Elena to the Everdoor and go to Furugawa. Okay, and then... Shenanigans. We'll talk to her, and then we gotta go to Edgeboro. Let's go up here. Yeah. Nope, I did that wrong. This new, uh... This new person doing this stuff for Overbrook, they did a good job. I'm proud of them. Where are you? Yeah, this is lovely. I love this paint job. Wow, I can barely recognize this place. It's the good kind of beige now. It is still just a hospital. And see, 
I told you that vending machine was magic or something. I'm happy and all, but it's super creepy. What? An all-powerful snack dispenser capable of changing the laws of physics. You don't find that creepy? Yeah, a little bit. You're right. What am I even saying? That's not possible. I probably just need glasses. Yep. Yeah, that's it. I'm just blind now. Overbrook is a totally normal hospital and I can't see properly. I won't question it any longer then. Thank you, I suppose. Look at how pretty. It's very pretty. I'm gonna go up to the top here and see how pretty it is. Some kind of lightning. Yep. Okay, so her lid's still broken. Wee-hoo! Oh! Uh, let's see. Everything over here is very pretty. Yeah! This is quite the improvement. Okay. What do we have left? Do we have anything else here? Uh, nope. Looks like we can go back to our boat. And let me look at the map. Oh, look how pretty it looks from far away. Look at the improvement. That tower is beautiful. Oh, that's very exciting. Look, I want to come over here. Oh, there's a little rainbow building there. Oh, rainbow building's over there. That's great. Listen, uh, you're a little bit hungry. Uh, let me give you some rice pudding. Yep, cool. Okay. And Buck is probably starving somewhere. Because that's how he... <gasps> What's going on here? What happened? Why does it look like that? Oh, it's trash. I made trash. Because that was like lettuce and fish, right? Because it's awful. Or maybe it's because I left it in there too long. Is that a thing that happens? Eat some seeds. There's so many eggs. I don't need the many eggs that I get from them. Oh, I can see his little figures. Buck's, Buck's little figures I can see along the top there. Buck, wake up. Buck. Buck. Buck, 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 Wake up. Hey, Buck. Hey, Buck. Wake up. Get out here. I gotta feed your face. Let me give you french fries. Where are you? Student! I don't want to talk to you, Elena. I know you're just gonna... The time has come! I know you're really hungry. Oh, look at you, starving. My starving little friend. I can't give you cheese sticks. Do you like scrambled eggs? Remember the curse, which lies on me, unless you could do something about it. Remove curse is a level three spell, though, and I don't think you can access it yet. In the meantime, no dairy for your humble servant. Oh, I didn't actually think there was dairy in there. Why do you want to talk to me, Elena? I teach you, I teach the same thing every year. The same words, the same language. Knowledge is unbreakable. You cannot unlearn something that has invaded your mind. You just need to be open to the possibilities. Stella. Every time we run these drills, or I see you helping your crew, I think of the first student I helped. Celeste was this bright kid. Ooh, we might be playing Celeste next. She had lost her mother and had a difficult time concentrating. Her day-to-day -day struggles were immense. However, she was determined. She wanted this prestigious scholarship. It took coaching, after school lessons, phone calls to her dad. She did not get that scholarship. She didn't have a chance. She learned that even when you try hard, you might fail harder. Like I said, it's a numbers game. She would never be the same. Neither would I. Cool story, bro. Buck, where did you go? Why did you run off when I'm trying to feed you? You said you were super hungry. Come back here. Where the hell are you? Buck. Buck, where are you? Where did you go? Okay, Edgeboro. Where's Edgeboro? Edgeboro. Edgeboro. Edgeboro? No. Edgeboro? There we go. That's quite a way away. Let's go ahead and do it the uh, bus, bus wise. Uh, we are going to be sh schlepping by Francis. Uh, I may or may not stop to do something about that. Expired food! Oh, I took too long on that island. It hates it. Uh, oh. I want to try lettuce and fish again. See what that does for me. Uh, we'll, we'll come back. 
Um, I wonder if I can make lettuce wraps. Oh, hey, Francis. Why'd you stop my whole ass boat? I didn't tell you to stop. There's some of this stuff. Yeah, I'll trade those. Um, and yeah, sure. And of course, always trade pairs. Um, don't want to do the fire glow stuff. Don't need to do the citrine. Uh, what do you got to buy? I do love my mystery business. Don't really need any glue. There we go. All good. Goodbye. Whoops, I fell off my boat. I'm back. I'm back. We're good. Yep. Yep. <clears throat> and we're gonna plant more of the sunflower seeds for my chickens. Chick, 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 chick. Chuk, 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 chuk. That's that's me doing a chicken. There you go. All right, so take me on the bus ride down to the Edgeboro area. Which one do we like? I think we'll go with this one. Hey, 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 hey! Yeah, he's so happy every time he helps us. You're a great friend there, sea lion. Yep. 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 Hurry. Hurry. Yep. Hurry. Yep. Mickey. All right. Um, we are heading towards Edgeboro, and then we're going to come out. We'll take the food out of the oven. I didn't know stuff could burn. That's pretty funny. I spent too much time out there. Shellfish stew? Is that new? don't think so. What could that one be? Uh, if we just make rice, it's just rice. Rice and chicken? What do we think that gets me? If I had rice and chicken, it'd be like a chicken stir fry. Maybe throw some broccoli in there. More bottles, some valuable rings and rugs. It's definitely what farming is like. Do I need to tell it? Nope, I don't. Awesome. I don't need to tell it that I'm not interested in catching the stars. Catch those stars. All right, that's all watered up. Uh, that's expired food. You're still cooking. Yeah, I didn't know there were consequences to ignoring the food, but that makes sense. Um, I'm not gonna go aboard just yet, because I don't want my chicken and rice to die. Give it... Oh, it's so much time. It takes so much time. I don't have time. 20 eggs. Ladies, you can calm the fuck down, okay? I am... I am fine on the egg front. Ah... Uh, can I make with egg? Egg cream I tried. Hmm. What are the recipes that I have yet to make? Show me. Show me what you've got. Make the dish. Finish the dish now so I can take it out of the oven. Hurry, 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 hurry. Ah, <sighs> okay. I don't wanna, yeah, I don't need any orchard stuff. Are you, it seems like y'all are, should be hungry at this point. You're not. What's going on? Why are my sheep not eating? How does time work? Chicken and rice, casserole. Uh, hmm. I think I've made that before. Uh, all right, Edgeboro, we're looking for the Lizard King. We've definitely run into him before. I think he's up on somebody's roof. Uh, cause I do recall him hollering about being the, the Lizard King. Oh, there he is. Well, well, look what we have here. 
An offering for the Lizard King. Good. Well, tell me what you have brought. Your hands are empty, but your promise is enticing. Birds. Lots of birds in a sanctuary in the city. How wonderful. This is indeed a treat. You sure know how to shower your king with presents. It will be written into law by royal decree. These birds will become royalty. They will be pampered and spoiled. They will be kings and queens of the animal kingdom. This is indeed a grand day. Huzzah. Cool. Cool story, bro. Cat, why were you coming from that side? We're over here. All right, so back to our boat. And let's see, we could talk to the Overbrook person and then go through. Oh, not, I don't wanna go down there. Uh, let's look here first. And we'll go ahead to this bus stop and then we'll decide where to go. Oh, I don't wanna be there. Uh, so rice and rice and chicken was a casserole. Rice and this and this is cereal, right? I'm gonna cook. I don't think I've made fried rice. Have I made fried rice before? I thought I would have, but maybe not. What do we got around here? Oh, my little purple butterflies. They get in there, shift around with those flowers. Hmm. Might be time to scrape my boat soon. Buck. Hey, Buck. Where are you, Buck? Buck. Hey, Buck, where are you? Where are you on the boat, Buck? Why can't I find you, Buck? Oh, it's gonna rain a little bit. Uh. Buck. Where are you? Oh, you're you're dying. Okay, I know. Yeah. Uh, what do you want? I gotta remember. No fruit. No. Yeah, you want this burnt food? Yeah. <laughs> uh, cereal bowl. That's that's gonna have milk in it. That's gonna have milk in it. Uh, how about some onion rings? Cool. Awesome. I love you too, robot. Wow. Wow. <laughs> How do I make XP potions? Please. Buck, I feel like it's for sure, for sure your job to tell me how to do that. Why haven't you told me how to do that yet? Listen, we're gonna pop by Overbrook and talk to the doctor. Most of the day has been spent making the hospital a better place. I'm I can get behind that. That's pretty good. It's a pretty good thing to do. Is get hospitals up and running to the best of their ability so that they can make sure their patients are well taken care of in a way that treats them with respect and care. Bye, bus stop. I love you. Okay. Chuck, 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 chuck. These are all upgraded. We for sure, for sure don't have the upgrade for our windmill yet. Uh, I could have sworn this got upgraded, but it doesn't have the special little gold stuff all over it. It's just, it's just got files for people. Oh, the robot brought me cookie. <laughs> it's cookie for me. Okay. Cookie for you. Love to eat the cookie like a good boy do. Oh, let me get this out of the oven here real quick. What was I making? Oh, fried rice. That's right. That's very exciting. That was exciting. Fried rice. Uh, is there food? I can make onion rings. What else spicy stuff can I make? I can make that potato dish. That's a pretty good dish. Uh, can I make any spicy shrimps? Doesn't look like it. Make some spicy chicken. Spicy milk. Let's make a spicy chicken. See what that gives us. Tandoori chicken, maybe? 
It's tandoori spicy. I don't remember. Which is the one that's super red? They like add red to it. I'm gonna hug you. Hi, I love you. That's my sister. I love her. She's my sis. How much time does this take? Too much time. I'm gonna go bored. Okay. Might be burnt when I get back. That's fine. We won't spend too long. We're just gonna talk to the one doctor, right? I'm sure they won't give us another errand like like they do. Okay, where are you? It's to the doctor, and I think they're yeah, there they are. Oh. Very good. That settles it. Thank you for taking care of my precious birds. I miss them so much. Oh, that's all that was? Okay. Awesome. So now we can swing by the ever door. Um Here's, all right, here's the thing I'm going to do, because I feel like I can still improve Elena's stuff uh, once we drop her off at the Everdoor. Like, this will be my test, and I'll be bummed if it means I don't get that Chivo, but, you know, say la vie, it's all just the game. I could just stomp all over the boundaries she set for me. I mean, I kind of accidentally did that already, but we're gonna hold off on those last two improvements until she's gone through the door. Uh, in the meantime, we'll do a little bit of watering here. We're still traveling at night like a boss, cutting through those rocks like it's nobody's business. Nobody's business but my own. Um, ha, okay, cool, we're here. Oops, I'm running against my boat. There we go. Oops, I fell in the water. Oops, oops. Okay, uh, we are gonna travel to the Everdoor. Oh, look, we're right up in its ass. Hey, 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 hey! Oh, my rumble pack's going off. You're a real, you're a real champ. All right, so now we're gonna pop on up to the Everdoor. We're gonna stare out my window at these trucks again because they're making noise. All right, we're heading in there. We're going in, I'm going in. All right, uh, and then we'll talk to Elena. What's this doing? Oh, we're finally almost done. It took so long to make my hot chicken takeover. Uh, are we doing it? Nashville hot chicken? What do you got for me? What do you got? Oh, Da Kang Jong. That's exciting. Oh, Elena's coming. We're going. You are just raring to go, aren't you? All right, I got a little more coffee to pour. Get some nice coffee stream on stream. <laughs> Mew! Oh, I don't think I've hugged my cat today. Hey. Oh, I can't while I'm waiting. Elena! Elena, where did you go? Why are you up there? You knew what we were doing. Why'd you stop up there? Oh, you're outside your house. We are here. I know I've been working you hard lately. I hope you do understand. Everyone needs a little bit of discipline in their lives. From, for someone who takes others to the afterlife, you're holding on surprisingly well. I do have one last request for you. It won't be an easy one, considering what we talked about. Will you make the journey with me? No. I can wait. We are here. I know I've been working hard lately. I hope you understand. Everyone needs a little bit of discipline. I do have one last request. Won't be an easy one, considering. Will you make the journey with me? Thank you. So, hopefully I didn't just say that I'm gonna pass over. Cause I was reading this. I was reading your whole, I was reading this as, as I'm, I'm taking you there. So please don't take me. I'll take you there. Okay. I think this is fine. Oh, one last thing. So, you were my first student in this place. I don't think you deserve a passing grade. I won't hold it against myself. Neither should you. A lesson you should learn from this. If life is hard, you should not be hard to it. 
People have the ability to change. You have the ability to change. You can shape how you want to be. I know that this is sometimes a tradition, the passing of a legacy, a token at the end, an heirloom, something for you to remember my time here. I do not wish to give you one. However, I've prepared something greater, tasks and requests from the great beyond that you will receive. A useless object will not make you think of me, but lessons will. Cool. Thanks, Teach. You know, I don't have to do homework if you're not alive to grade it. Hopefully, this will all be over soon. Yeah? Let me think of something. Are you one of those people that don't like to just be in the quiet? Okay. I'll just say it. I just want to say, truly, from teacher to student, I am proud. You did good work. Okay, she's not the one who's too afraid of silence. It's me. It's me. It's been too quiet. I can't listen to this music. I, I, I can't just chill. I gotta be talking. You looking at your book, Elena? I have to say, I do like your whole flower thing, how it's greenery. I, I would, I would like to be greenery. Be a nice, uh, I don't know if I would even need to be a flowering bush, just a bush. Just a little hedge. That's what I am. Just a bit of a hedge. Probably lining the yard. Grab some... Ah, oh, she's talking. I've been thinking. When we get there, maybe, just maybe, we can hug. We'll see how I feel. Oh, that would be very nice. <clears throat> she has been one who has been no contact. Which, uh, after my initial test to make sure she meant it, which was kind of rude on my part, uh, I did respect. Um, just like after I accidentally upgraded her apartment, I didn't do that again. This is the only time I will let you. Come on. Oh, pay attention. There's a good hug. There's that good, good hug. That good, good Elena hug. It's the only time we get one, yo. Goodbye, my dear. I do... I like how, uh, and I don't know if this was made before we saw the photos of it or not, but it kind of looks like the black hole photos that they've taken. Oh, there goes my rumble. <laughs> We're going in the ever door at full speed ahead. And what do you look like, Elena? Are you next to anybody? I don't see anybody else up there. Oh, that's a good, that's a good whip it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, the whole, oh, it's, the whole thing is just everywhere. Ah. Ah. These are uh, on the sea of tranquility. All right. So there we're going to Furugawa. Yeah, look at this. We've got a lot of stuff. All right, we're going to the bus stop. Or wait, where's Furugawa? Which one's Furugawa? None of these. So it's worth going. It's worth going to the bus stop. Oh, my dear Stella. One Daria has expressed her desire to receive your visit. Regards. Overbrook's caretaker. Impression Sunrise. Well, I feel like Daria's gonna ask me to pick her up and take her. Oh, look. Oh, we can do these things. What do we got? We got some greenery. It's very nice. A little sprig of something. A little sprig of mint or rosemary or something along those lines. 
All right, listen, we got to improve. We're going to improve Elena's business because now she's not here to care about it. Uh, I still need a rose gold sheet. I thought I had all those. Uh, but first, let's go ahead and get closer to where we're going here. Hey, bus friend. And yeah, we'll go ahead and swing by Overbrook again. Why not? Our bus friend makes travel just nonsensically fast, so we might as well use it. I love you, man. You're awesome. Listen, I'm just gonna water these. I should have started on... No, I watered it twice. It's so horrible. I need to collect all the fish so that I can get the pirate outfit. It's imperative. Uh, but first, we're gonna wrap up Daria's whole business here. I'm wondering if she'll have me take her to the Everdoor. She likes her house. She's got a cool little house at Overbrook, it seems like. Uh, what's the next thing I'm doing? I need to make rose quartz. Uh, rose, rose gold, not rose quartz. Right, right, right. Right? Or am I wrong? No, it's got to be rose quartz. Uh, we still got a little ways to go. We're almost there. Yeah. Come on, I can do it. Oh, I busted it, but that's all right. It's exciting. It's exciting when that happens. It gets so hot. So hot. So cool. All right, so there's that last bit of rose gold. We are here. Um, now I'm gonna go ahead and do the improvement first, just because. Improve, yeah, there we go. Now you've got like a little lamp and Elena's fully improved, awesome. So we can do that. Uh, outside of the normal realm. All right, and how do we want to line these up? I'll put you right here, because we know we're done with you. Buck is still doing some stuff. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're done with that. So now we'll go ashore. I did it right this time, I said ashore. Oh, more, beep, more beeps and boops from the trucks outside. It's very exciting. Oh, I didn't mean that. Come here, let me talk to you. <gasps> Stella, you are here. I feel I, how do you, do you like my paintings? I, I need your help, Stella. Another dive away from here. You know what I mean, don't you? Do you not? The doctors, they, they will not say a thing. Not if I am going with you. They know better than to protest. They know what it all means. It is... <clears throat> Let us go. That's what I thought. That is what I thought. You coming, babe? Let's go. Okay, so... Yep, we're taking Daria to the Everdoor. We're done with all our shenanigans. Uh, we do need to make more rose gold sheets eventually. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and go back to the bus stop. That'll be our first stop. And uh, while we are headed that away, I'll come up here, do more rose gold. How much of those? Okay, so we are gonna need more copper and gold ingots. So let's go ahead and do a bunch of gold here. And this is one where I just kind of got to sit on it. And uh, let it go down a little bit. And then pump it up a little bit. And let it go down a little bit. And pump it up again. Etc, etc. 
Oh, okay. Good, good, good. Didn't go too far. Okay, and we are at the bus stop again. We're going to do one more toot. One more toot on the gold horn. All right, and then we got this. Cool, cool. And now we're going to pop out. Hey, my bus buddy. How you doing? Bus friend. All right. Back to the Everdoor. It's so much easier now that I've figured out that I can use the bus. It's just like in real life. My hesitancy to use public transportation could bite me in the butt. Um, what next? Where next? What am I doing next? Okay, we are here. So I'm going to go to the Everdoor. Yeah, here we go. And it is not a long trip. I'm gonna go do some rose gold making here because there's a lot of that that's gotta go. And what do I need? I need 10 of these, I think, is the recipe. So that's gonna take some doing. then also yeah there we go all right we're done with that one uh, and we don't have the copper we need yet to even get those other ones started so we're just gonna go ahead and take Eleanor where she needs to go Stella, the air is different we've reached it have we not then let us leave let us see you pee here we go. This is my music little... The air, it has this quality. Yes, I understand now. All the pieces of the self that were lost. Well, they ought to be here. You look dejected. Do not. You knew all along, Stella. You had to. Did you think it would not end here? No, I cannot be fooled like the others. The laws of this ocean have no bearing on me. You're such a cute bat, Daria. You traveled with me, Stella, and I am grateful for it. Of all, only you saw the beauty within the depths. The wonders that have amazed and alienated me. So do we think we that she had some sort of like hallucinogenic disease? Like uh, severe schizophrenia or something like that? Uh, her world definitely seemed different. I mean, some of it feels like depression. Like... Falling deep within the depths, sinking ever lower, but also understanding that being down there can still yield beauty. I don't know. I hope you see now that I am not to be pitied. Such brilliance is a gift like no other, and I am happy that with me, you could glance at it. Or is she just magical and creative? We're going out, my little fruit bat. I didn't uh, figure out what your favorite food was, though. You see it now, do you not? My transparency. My lack of substance. I am not getting better. Since the storm, every day ribbons of me falling into oblivion. I have lost too much. I am incomplete beyond repair. Below the critical mass required for a continued existence. Echoes of echoes can only last so long. Goodbye, Stella. Aw, you just plucked her right out of the air. Aw, 
Aw, my dear lovely bat, I shall miss you. It was cool working with you to renovate that hospital island. All the fellow patients that you left behind shall be better off for it. And where the fuck is Jackie? Cause screw that guy. I feel like I'm gonna run into him later. All right, what do you look like? You gotta be bat wings, please. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like that. That's cute. Got a nice glowy nose. That's very nice. I use the word nice in my description twice. Twice as nice. Okay, a letter from Elena. I only need five rose gold sheets. That's good. I can't, uh, where's, where's that letter you're talking about? Did I get it? I haven't picked it up yet. Uh, let me check mailbox. Yeah, I did. You wouldn't let me open it. I gotta move. I gotta do something else. Uh, let's go. Let's go ahead and oops, no. Nope. Come in here. We are gonna hit the bus stop. All right. So once we've done the bus stop, we should be able to get this once we're like away from. There, now we can. We had to be... Oh, two letters from Elena already. Stella, you can have a bit more to go. I think you can upgrade your stations. Cool. Stella, I think you've had enough time off. I've marked a few errands for you to do. Francis will provide you with the details. Okay. Uh... Complete Elena's errands. Did you give me... More stuff? Alright, listen, I'm gonna go get on the bus. Okay. We are traveling, and where is Furugawa? Osakai Query, Furugawa. So we are coming right in here. That's a good spot. Quite close. <laughs> okay. First things first, let's aim ourselves at Furugawa. And then I'm gonna come out here and we're gonna see, like, did she give me any improvements that I hadn't gotten yet is, is one thing. Nope, okay. Uh, you are already done up, done up. This one, I still need XP potions, and that's irritating. We got all your stuff done. Uh, yeah, XP potions. Okay, we're here at Furugawa. Let's go. Uh, hopefully I won't sneeze again. I can find a kind of feel a tickle in my nose. Oh, hey, Buck. What are we doing here? You need to find the oracle. You'll know it when you see it. Okay, uh, but in the meantime, uh, let me go ahead and give you casserole. By the seven graces of Imelda, you coming forth and offering me the gift of comfort food is a sign of holler, the princess, prince of fate. My appetite cannot resist such delicacies. A very wise choice, Commander. I am not surprised by your cleverness. I guess Holler won't mind if I gain a few pounds after all. Cool bro. Wait, I should give you a hug. Because I just had to let go two of my ladies. I know, your main mana was low. Yep. You're my only friend left, Buck. Just you and your nerds. What about over here? Any special over here yet? Nope. Okay. Woohoo. Oh, nice. I grabbed the ladder on my way. That was exciting. Okay, so we're looking for the oracle. Who could that be? 
I mean, my one sense is that it's going to be that person that's kind of high up in the hills. You know what I mean? Or is it you? Oh, wow, well, I feel amazing. Warning, sacred dog feels so brazing. Okay. Nope, you're, you're some kind of weird. Uh, what are you? I live a simple life. I'll know it when I see it. Is it you? Oh! Well, this is my sis, so I'll stop here to start with. And do my my sister's thing and hopefully not cry. <sighs> this photo album sure makes you look well-traveled, sis. Listen up, because I'm going to read your embarrassing postcard. <laughs> Let me find my famous Stella voice one second. Dear Mom, Dad, and Lily, my trip has been amazing so far. I'm even making friends. What a boring thing to say. At this rate, the summer vacation will be gone in a flash. Last weekend, I went to Shirakawa Go in the Toyama pre Prefecture. I took a tour to visit these beautiful rice paddies. It was an impressive sight. Next to these incredible houses at the bottom of the mountain, it was especially beautiful at night with the glow of the moon. Oh, Stella, you perv. He's an, he's an art curator from Germany. He's creating an art exhibit exhibition in Nagasaki. The tour was in Japanese, so he helped me with some of the nuances. He gave me his address and invited me to his show. I miss you all, and I can't wait for you to visit me in a few months. Stella. P.S. Stay out of my room, Lily. I didn't. I didn't stay out of your room. Wow, you were so outgoing. I don't remember ever being like that, so full of life. I was always a bit dramatic, let's say. I wonder if you went to see Gustav's ex exhibition. That was his name, right? We never got to go on that trip to see you. Dad got sick around that time. He had trouble walking. His body was swelling and everything hurt him. I never understood why they kept it from you. They probably knew you'd come back as soon as they told you to take care of him. I got to see dad get sicker and sicker. And I wasn't able to do anything to help. I still remember your face when you got home. For a second, it was like you didn't recognize him. Let's keep going. It's not like you've ever shied away from death. You basically made it your whole world. I'm sure you've got some pictures of when you moved to Montreal. Let's take a look. Ugh. 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 All right, we're going up here, because I'm betting the oracle is the dude that lives up on the mountains by himself. Are you the oracle? Oh. Look at that mountain. So real. It's like a drawing. What? Listen, if I'm supposed to just know who the oracle is, I'm not. I don't. A rice patch needs constant nurturing. It's a full-time job. I'd rather eat mangoes and watch the sunset. Cool. Hi there. Hi there. Oh, hey, hi there. No, thank you. I don't want your magazine subscription. Where's the oracle? Can't be far. I can feel his power. Are you the oracle? Welcome all. You're in the right place. You're at Raccoon Incorporated and the trade is wares. Furigawa might be a quiet place, but you don't have to be calm when you're shopping. Mm-hmm. Where's the oracle? She? That's, is that the oracle? I should get back to it. Hello to you too. Who cooks for you? Is anybody in here? Where's the oracle? Hey, where's the oracle? I'm looking for the oracle. Hi there. Uh, are you the oracle? The word voice should be outlawed. Yeah, you know what? Let's not police language any more than we already do. Come on. Uh, choo choo choo. Oh! Oh, I, I didn't talk to the sign before. I am the Oracle. I see visions of deception and hardship ahead. I see loss, sorrow, and pain. I see hope, joy, and love. 
you will return to the world with a token of passage, a piece of soul already paid, an item of immense value, an opal. But spirit fair, this is not what you came here for. You came seeking answers. You will find these answers in those simple numbers. Negative 185, negative 92. Those symbols will show you the way. The receptacle of light awaits. Oh, cool, I got another obel. Oh boy, obel. Okay. So we are uh, done with the Furukawa step. We already got all of those. I think we're done with this whole dang island. Hup, hup. Here we go. Amazing. Commander, this day will forever be inscribed in the archives of yore. Forever sung by the balladeers of the Seven Corners. The Oracle has awakened. He talked to you. His puzzle might be cryptic, but you will no doubt find the solution of this. I am sure. Roll. Oh, well. No, I think you can figure this one out on your own. Good luck. Yeah. I think I got it. Demons of light. Buck, are you gonna tell me how to... Oxbury Shrine? Oxbury. Complete with that. We can't make anything with that yet. What do we got? Oh, what's, uh, what is it? What was our number? Negative 185, negative 92. Negative 185. Negative 92. Oh! oh look, there's there it is right there. Uh where are we? We're right here. We're gonna go to this bus stop. And while we're doing that, we'll make another rose gold business thing so this is rose gold here there we go oh we don't have the so we'll have to make uh we'll have to make our copper ingots first boop, 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 boop. Yeah. so here's the thing do we think that I have a whole nother two hours of this game to play. Yeah, I think we do. Because I haven't made any XP potions. So I feel like... I feel like there's a good bit, maybe like 10% of the game left? What do we think? I, I hear you. I hear you, busman. My bus seal. Seal bus. Oops. Here we go. So we are going to go all the way down here. That's a good bus stop. Yeah. Just happens to be raining here. Yeah, the big thing, I want... I want to open up the, the last of the plot here. Alright, so we're going to go here. And then once we check out this hidden shrine, we're gonna go. All right, so we got Obel to pay for it for sure. I wonder if it gave us Obel just in case we wouldn't have Obel. What do you want? You still not hungry? Does the upgraded sheep shed like keep them from getting hungry? Is that a thing? It's a nice thing if that is a thing. Uh, what else do we want here? We did rice and chicken. There's no cheese and rice, which I disagree with. That's going to be a casserole. That's going to be like rice milk. Is that a thing? Sweet rice? I think it's rice porridge or rice pudding. I think I've already made it, but it doesn't hurt to make it again. Let me uh, get some seeds for my chickens. Yep. Okay. What else do we want to make? Let's make some garlic. I feel like I haven't made a lot of garlic recently. Alright. 
Hidden shrine discovered. This is important business. So what do we think this one's going to do for me? It's exciting. Demons of light. We're going. Ooh, it's the sort of day where it's just like you're going to be covered with a thin film of sweat. Anything over here? Nope. Okay. Oh, wait, no, there's a little divey spot down here. Give me. Come here. And now. What you got for me is a recipe? Nope, it's a magic card. Cool. Yeah. Uh, what are you guys doing? Oh, it's the three people who... Uh, the Oracle's words were true. Commander, these dark woods conceal a shrine of immense power. Old ancient shrines have a will of their own. Imbued with the divine power of Halter on the Wise, they can only reveal themselves to a true heir of Romalda. The shrine is covered in holy scriptures. I use the spot hidden door. Only you, the Chosen One, can resonate with its magic. Only you, the Star Child, can wield the glaive of divine justice. Go, Commander! Cast your heavenly magic and whisper the secret words. May your actions enlighten our path. Cast your magic, Chosen One. Advantage on your skill check. All right, we're going up here. We're going to see some cool shit. Yeah, give it. Acquire Light Burst. Press RT to release Everlight energy in all directions around you. What does that mean? Can I make things, like, am I making things die? What's happen? Like, what, what does the Everlight do to people? If I just be releasing it around me, hmm? How are we feeling? What do we do? Okay. Press. What does that do? Magical! Blessed be the eleven stars! You definitely are the chosen one, the light bearer, the sun bringer! She who shall enlighten our souls and liberate our consciousness drenched in shadow. That power bestowed upon you by the very fabric of this world will be our weapon. A weapon whose power will rival the thrice-forged glaive of Ethelduer, the first of the Dalars. Alas, this party must split up now. The Silver Company has played its role fully, and it is time for its members to ride back to their homesteads. Also, these guys are past their curfews and need to get back home. Let's track back to the Galleon, where I shall describe our next task in great lore-dumping details. Also, I need to look at my notes again. Cool, but what? What did that do? I released my light at you. What does that do to you? It's weird. It's a weird way to put it. Okay. Well, we picked up the light. Oh, I guess we'll go talk to him. Ooh, no, I'm gonna get my dish out of here. What was I making? I don't even remember. Rice and milk? Rice porridge. Yeah, rice pudding. Pudding with eels. Where are you? Why are you way up here? Commander, I must sadly bequeath you with a grim knowledge. I need to shed an anguished light on your essential mission. We cannot defeat the primeval evil powers of the Lich God Gornemloth by ourselves. We must rallying to our cause the free people of the three continents. You shall light the fires of Tondor. We will trek through the treacherous waters of the Great Sea and illuminate the sky, sending our heroic message. The fires of Tondor might be known to you already. Cradle of Light itself, the Tower of Radiance, where you met me, your humble narrator. Then the most conspicuous fire. Conspicuous? Conspicuous? I still don't know. Of Tondor is nested at the heart of the Gallery of Sins. 
Finally, the last fire of Tondor is hidden atop the eternal ice spire, concealing its pure white light. But, Commander, you have to know that our roads will be all but safe. I must warn you of the great danger posed by the orcs of the Shadowsteel clan. Their master, the war chief Omgrathog One Eye, is Gornemloth's vassal. Surely the orcs will maneuver to ambush us at the faintest of opportunities. In fact, quick, roll initiative! One fumble! You are completely taken by surprise! The orcs jump from the shadows and bellow ugly roars. The Shadow Steel Clan will devour your innards, shouts Gomgata, the orc chieftain. Ready yourself! And Commander, some of these foes will be protected by Gornemloth's nefarious magic. Only your light burst ability can shatter their protection. May the fight begin! Are we fighting? Oh, that's cute. Oh, this is so cute. Where are they? Oop. Get that one. It's too tall. Uh, I gotta get this one that's up here. Alright, did I get it? I don't know if I got it. Is it really just the light that I gotta do? Or can I... Am I smashing them? I feel like I smashed them. Yeah, I feel like I can just smash them. Maybe the ones that are a little glowy, I can't smash, just regular style. Mm, are they all done? Did we kill them all? Is that cool? What do we get? What do we get, bud? Fantastic! Crawling through the debris, wounded and vanquished, Gomgata extirpates himself from the field. I will be back stronger and crueler. In a shriek, the routed orc vanishes from the remnants. This was astounding, Commander. Your fighting aptitude is exceptional. But there is not a minute to waste. Cowering deep in their caves, the orcs of the Shadowsteel clan are regrouping and planning their revenge. Quick, to the fires of Tondor. Okay, cool. Oh, hey, Francis. Got a favor to ask. Yeah, yeah. Mm, a favor. How odd it must be for you. Nobody asks you for favors on that giant boat of yours. Listen, as a wandering merchant, I'm always looking for the next customer. I can't really do the simple things in life. I always need to be ready. Now, I have an important errand for you. I need... I need you to get my groceries. I know, I know. I just can't live off fish and seagulls for eternity. Go have a look. My grocery list might seem strange to you. I assure you, it's very common where I'm from. Wait, you want a lectrum sheet? Yo, what? Royalty dinner? I still don't know how to make crepes. Elena's stipulation? You want... There's a lot of stuff on your list, bruh. All right, Saturday night shopping list, Electrum sheets. All right, well, we're gonna come back and do this tomorrow. Uh, no, I'm not gonna talk to you, Buck, right now, okay? I'm saving and quitting right now. We'll talk tomorrow. Smash or pass? Uh, Francis? Hmm, I don't know. I'm not gonna say not smash, but I don't normally go for folks who are that much older than me. All right. Oh, the sparkly thing. What do you think of Baby Ginsburg? Oh, there's a Baby Ginsburg. Hi, Baby. She's not going to be a baby. All right. Yeah. As always, she's not going to be a baby. Uh, take care of yourselves. Oh, oh. I wasn't paying that much attention, as you've happened. probably... Uh, Sumki made a joke and I didn't notice in time, as as I do. <laughs> ah, smash him. Smash him, pass him. Smash your pass. Nice. All right, so I got to look. 
I'm going to try raiding someone. We're going to see if somebody's raiding. Uh, let's see. Do we have anybody I can raid? Is that exciting? Oh, we can raid Sinstar's back. Oh, he raided me the other day. I'm going to raid him. <laughs> um, how do I copy his name? Copy link address? No. I'm going to copy Sinstar's playground. And then we're going to uh, raid. Is that a thing I can do? Raid. Nope. Let me in my chat. Raid. Nope. Oh, I did say RR apparently. Okay. Um, raid slash. No, that's not how that works. It's not going to be what it does. Um, how? <laughs> I forget. I forget how to do it. Is that it? Mm hmm. Yeah, it is. Awesome. We're going. <laughs> yeah. Raid now. We're doing it. We're raiding. As always, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Have a great day out there. Bye for now.